The vision of the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries is to achieve an innovative, inclusive, sustainable and internationally competitive agriculture and fisheries sector by 2030. That work will be advanced in the 2021-2022 fiscal year with a budget of over $8.3 billion. Through the help of bilateral partners, an additional $1.2 billion has been allotted to fund development projects. Here's the breakdown. As the ministry targets a dynamic agriculture sector, upgrades to the Bodo's research station in St. Catherine will be continuing. Several tasks to be undertaken this fiscal year include the completion of a milking system, the phase two upgrade of domestic water supply, rehabilitation of irrigation systems, and the renovation of medium and high-tech greenhouses. A new piggery and animal performance testing facility will be constructed along with the installation of a herd management system and a biodigester. Farmers in St. Elizabeth and Manchester will benefit from the continuation of work on the Essex Valley Irrigation Infrastructure Development Programme. $605 million is being spent by the Caribbean Development Bank and the Government of Jamaica to continue the drilling of wells and complete the design of the irrigation network system. Irrigation equipment will also be procured. A tariff study of the National Irrigation Commission, along with capacity building for climate resilience and crop modelling and the design of an agricultural building, will also be completed. The Caribbean Development Bank is funding the three-year Southern Plains Agricultural Development Project. This year, $300 million will be used to complete three wells in Paranassus, Clarendon, install irrigation networks, commence road and drain rehabilitation or construction, and rehabilitate irrigation canals. Government is also partnering with the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development to enhance resilience to climate change among targeting fishing and aquaculture communities. Work will be carried out on the fisheries and aquaculture policy, while the hatchery and mariculture facility will be upgraded. A climate resilience farm will also be established. The Government of Jamaica is spending $128 million to enhance the Agricultural Competitiveness Program Bridging Project. At the Spring Garden Agropark, renovation will continue on a packaging facility, while on-farm access roads and drains will be completed. Pumping works will continue at the Spring Plain Agropark. The main aim of the ministry this fiscal year surrounds the Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries program. It aims at promoting the development and implementation of a strategic framework for agricultural health and food safety in Jamaica. Our farmers and fisher folks are the backbone of our country. It is they, our food heroes, who toil daily to put food on our table and ensure that our economy continues to move forward strengthening partnerships, improving infrastructure and creating opportunities. These underpin the projects that have been budgeted for the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries.